G'day YouTube, welcome back. One MJ here. Well, this is something that I, I, I like Alex Saunders uh, and I follow his channel uh, Nuggets News. I really like his stuff. And he put out an interesting tweet. So, on the 2nd of September, I shared the following in the following. In case I haven't been clear, take profits. I most certainly have been. DeFi is a bubble. Uh, there are now multiple protocols that have crossed the chasm of yield farming to Ponzi economics. Uh, ETH at $480 uh, top that day, were you greedy? So we can go in and have a look at this and we can have a look at, uh, you know, where they are from their all-time highs. So, you know, Chainlink's down 55%, Aave 50%, Uniswap nearly 70%, Synthetics Token 51%, Yearn Finance Compound. I think a lot of these are good projects and they aren't going to go away. Uh, wouldn't touch sushi, not interested in it. Uh, DeFi money, don't know enough about it. Uh, XDAI, I, I really like uh, what I've heard about XDAI. Uh, obviously a massive synthetics fan, uh, Aave fan, Chainlink fan. When I look at these, I think they are an absolute fire steal at the moment. I'm not saying they couldn't go lower and they may well go lower, but I just look at these and think, uh, wow, that's quite a pullback and it's only really happened in the last sort of month or so so as you can see yeah well it is just sort of just over a month in august these are absolutely raring now obviously this isn't sustainable it won't last forever that's why you're seeing the massive pullbacks but these projects aren't dead i don't think i think beef uh defi sorry was in a bit of a bubble but you know, and I guess you could say that this is the D, the DeFi bubble has popped, but not popped as in now it's all just gone and no one will ever pay attention to any of these. Not at all. I still think these, uh, a number of these projects are going to be around for the future. Nexus Mutual, REN, I like those. Compound, I don't think they're going anywhere. Again, Synthetix, uh, you know, Token, Arv, Chainlink, Uniswap. There's a lot of these that I think are pretty good uh, projects, you know. Uh, Curve. So yeah, I'm just looking at these and going, rightio, I think it might be time to look at buying some of these. Now don't get me wrong, so we can get away from there. Let's have a look at the DeFi Pulse. So there's still over $10 billion locked up in DeFi, and we've had a terrible sort of month and a bit, but it's still been going up. Now it has sort of rolled over here and we're starting to come down a little bit, but we're still in a basically upward trend. Now again, I'm not saying this couldn't go lower, but I just think a number of these projects are at a pretty good price at the moment. Now, this is just my personal opinion. It's not financial advice. I'm only telling you what I see in the market are the things that I like and what I'm doing. You've got to make your own decisions and work out what you want to do. But let's go here and have a look. All right, market cap. So it's uh, gone down a bit and gone up a bit. Still sitting around that kind of 300 and nearly $40 billion mark. And we can see the Bitcoins, you know, Again, it's just ranging and we'll talk about that soon, but there's a lot of red, you know, red everywhere. But what I wanted to do is we go over to DeFi. In the last seven days, look how much these have pulled back. And again, I'm not saying they can't go lower, but I just think if you're interested in the DeFi market, now wouldn't be a bad time to just have a look at it and consider whether you want to build a position in it. So for me, I have put a position in for Chainlink, Arv, Uniswap, Synthetics, um, what else did I do? Uh, Nexus Mutual, uh, I'm looking at, I haven't put a position in yet, uh, but I'm definitely looking at it. Uh, and I think it was maybe Carver I did as well, but there are a few projects. Now again, I didn't just go out and buy right now. I I put in uh, some price targets of just a little bit lower. But for instance, let's go to Synthetics Network. And what I wanted to do was, let's just go the last 30 days. No, I think it might be in the last 90 days, that's what I was looking at. Yep, so here we go. So basically, I'm looking at around about 
sort of almost, you know, down to the $3 mark, $3.30. I think it was around about $3.00. Uh, I put in a buy mark, three three dollars and you know something cents. I forget exactly what it was, but basically I'm looking to get back into uh, Synthetics Network at around about three dollars. Now there's no guarantee that it'll uh, get down to there, uh, and we might have found the bottom because there's a bit of confluence sort of around this area where it's where it is. But I just think you know we've got the weekend coming up there could be another fur further sell off and I'll have a look at that when we get onto the bitcoin charts but I basically put a buy order in for just a little bit over three dollars it was like three dollars and a few cents I can't remember exactly what it was and I have a buy order now again I'm not dumping thousands of dollars into it or anything like that uh, just a you know a hundred two hundred dollars uh, on a few different projects uh, if they get to those targets and again if they go even lower then fair enough I've still got some money on the side uh, and I'll set some more targets but for me it was around that three dollar mark a little bit over uh, I'm looking to buy some more synthetics if it gets down to there and if it doesn't then hey I've got that money still sitting on the side uh, for another time so that's one that I looked at uh, let's have a look chain link I did the same put in another buy order What was I looking at? I think I was looking at about 90 days again, possibly. Yeah, so I think I was looking at around about sort of here. It was around kind of, well, actually, I think it was lower than that. Yeah, 873. I think I was looking at, let's go here, 180 degree uh, days. Yeah. So it was around about sort of here. So a little bit under sort of $8.60. I think I went down to, it might have even been down around about here. Yeah, I think it was just under the $8 mark. So I think I was $7.99 or $8.01 or something like that. I think I'm picking up uh, 10 chain link or something like that. And again, it's not to say it can't go lower, but I'm just going to sort of average my way in if it keeps uh, going down. Because Chainlink isn't dead, it's not all over. It's just there's fear in the market, uh, all the newbies are panicking, uh, and I personally think there's going to be people that will be taking great advantage of that, and I'll be one of them. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it was around $7.99 or something like that. I put a buy order in for Chainlink. So Chainlink would still have to drop, you know, a few percent before I got any, but that's something I looked at. Now, Aave, I did exactly the same. So let's have a look at Aave. So they are migrating to the new uh, Lend coin, so I may not uh, be able to get this, and that's happening uh, this weekend, I believe on the uh, 11th or something like that, uh, on CoinSpot at least. So 90 days. So I think, yeah, I put in a buy order somewhere around here, 30, 40 cents or something like that. So again, there's a bit of you know confluence here, and particularly if you zoom out to way back in sort of 2018, yeah. So I've got my order set in, I think it's yeah, somewhere around about there, 37, 38, 40 cents, something like that. A little bit lower than where it is now, not a whole lot lower. And again, I haven't put in just everything I've got, but I'm just going to start averaging in once we, if they start to hit these prices. And then if they go down a little bit no, lower, then I'll just buy some more again, because I still believe in these products. All the things Aave's done and Chainlink's done and Synthetics Network have done and things like that, I don't think they're going anywhere. Uniswap, likewise, put in a buy order for Uniswap. Now, I'm just trying to find, I think, so I put in my uh, buy order, just, oh, I'll come back down. So I think it's around about $2.80 or something like that, I think I put it in. No, not $2.80 because it's two seventy eight now. So what's, that must be about, uh, I can't even remember now. I'd have to go back and have a look. But anyway, it was somewhere around about here on the chart. So that says, yeah, I think it was somewhere here. Somewhere around about there anyway. I think, uh, God, where did I put it now? I'd have to remember. It was in Australian dollars. Anyway, I think it was around about uh, 17 cents cheaper than this. So I think it's around the $2.60 sort of uh, US mark, which, uh, again, it's, th I think, $3.00. Uh, and something cents but anyway again uni something that I'm looking into I'll write these down next time so I can remember but again I think these are gonna roll over and go a low a little bit lower I don't think they're done yet so uni was another one I put a uh, buy order in 
uh, compound. Uh, I'm more interested in the compound platform than buying the token itself because they they can give you the token. Yearn Finance, I actually think this is going to go a lot lower. I, I, I think uh, it's been having a really hard time. Uh, and I think more and more people are going to continue to sell off. So before I get into Yearn Finance, particularly because uh, of the price, uh, I'll be waiting for it to sort of bottom out uh, before I you know, look at getting back into it. There are some people saying that it's going to go down to about $12,000. So if you're interested in Yearn Finance, then you know, have a look. And again, you don't have to buy a whole one. And I certainly won't be buying a whole one. But I'm going to, I'm, you know, there's, it hasn't been around long enough to, you know, really know what it's going to do. I did buy some po polka dot today, but Nexus Mutual. So this is something I want to have a look at, uh, and it's been going down for a while. I didn't buy any Nexus Mutual, and I haven't uh, set a buy stop order limit for it or anything like that. So let's just go max. And that might even be the max that I'm looking at right now. There you go. So it's really hard to know what's going to happen with Nexus Mutual at the moment. So it has dipped a whole lot lower uh, and it's pumped up. But this is like a little bit of a sliding sort of scale here. So it's definitely something I'm interested in. And you can see the volume is getting lower and lower and lower. Now a lot of people panic uh, in regards to that. But I'm going to show you something on Bitcoin. So if we go over here and we have a look at Bitcoin, so at the moment, you know, we're tiling, we're sorry, coiling tighter and tighter and tighter, and it's getting really, really tight right now. And you can see that the volume just gets lower and lower and lower and lower. If we look at what has happened when uh, Bitcoin traditionally, other than when we're in a bear market, coils tighter and tighter and tighter, and here's a perfect example. We're coiling, coiling, and it's getting tighter and tighter and tighter. Boom, explodes up. Now, it doesn't always happen like that, but a lot of the times it does. So here, coiling tighter and tighter and tighter. Boom, punches up. Uh, here's one where it doesn't. So we can see coiling tighter and tighter and tighter and drop down uh, to the bottom side. Now, again, that was the bear market, though. This is that bear market, and technically... This is the bottom of that bear market back in the 15th of December 2000 uh, and sort of 18. So it's just been rising since. We go back uh, and you can sort of have a look here. Coiling, it's kind of tight, tight, and then boom, it goes on a run. Uh, coiling tight, boom, goes on a run. Sort of, you know, coils tight, boom, goes on a bit of a run. So this has happened throughout history on a number of times with Bitcoin. Whenever it gets really, really tight, it generally breaks out to the upside. And I personally believe that's exactly what's going to happen right now. I think Bitcoin is coiling tighter and tighter and tighter, and I think it's going to make a move to the upside. Uh, now, I could be wrong. It's not financial advice, and it wouldn't be the first time I've ever been wrong. But it's just, yeah, the sentiment that I see at the moment and the gut feeling I get is that this is coiling tighter and it's going to make a move to the upside because this trend is just being followed. And this trend uh, has been followed, you know, ever since COVID. If COVID couldn't send Bitcoin to zero, then nothing's really going to send it to zero other than some unbelievable economic, excuse me, economic downturn or turmoil that will affect all markets. And I just don't see that coming. I wouldn't be surprised if another stimulus package comes out soon. And if it doesn't come out like in the next sort of, you know, few weeks before the election, something will come out after the election. Even Biden's going to have a uh, stimulus package come out. He just ha might have a more revised one. No president is going to let uh, the financial system completely go bust and turn the whole world into chaos. They're just not going to. I'm not saying printing to infinity is the answer. But at the moment, they don't really have much choice. So I do think more stimulus is going to come out soon. As I've said previously, I do believe institutional buyers are in here at the moment and they're buying this up using the micro strategy form uh, method. Again, just gradually buying it every time it sort of dips down and this is getting tighter and tighter and tighter and I'm expecting it to break out to the upside. But again, so sorry, I'll uh, bring that in. The weekend is coming. I do expect this. To roll over for the next you know maybe couple of days but I am sort of thinking somewhere around about here so the 10,400 the 10,000 kind of $300 range is probably as low as it's going to go I would 
be somewhat surprised if it went lower. Not completely surprised. It could come down and sort of touch, you know, off this uh, mark here and possibly even come down. Uh, I mean, this is going to be negated fairly soon, I think. I think this will possibly roll over and sort of come down to here. So I think we're still, you know, a week or two away from really knowing, really knowing what's going to happen, but I could be wrong. It, again, I think this might roll over over the weekend, so the next couple of days to around about sort of here, 10th of October or so. And again, I think we get down to that kind of $10,400 range, more around about here. And then I think we're going to bounce off that, and I don't think we're going to go lower. But that's just my personal opinion. You know, we'll have to wait and see. I've been wrong before, and I'll be wrong again. And anyone who says they're never wrong is just lying to you. All of us get it wrong at times. But it's just the sentiment. Again, the fear and greed index, let's go and have a look. It's still somewhat low uh, on the fear side. Not Sorry, it's, yeah, low on the fear side is what you call it. It's not high on the fear side. So again, but it's starting to get more and more neutral. So people are really unsure. Uh, we are at about 43, uh, now we're up to 46. So, you know, if it does start to turn uh, more green, then I'll be a little bit more cautious because I know the big traders, they trade against uh, this kind of stuff and that's where they make their money. I'm an investor, not a trader, so I don't have to worry. And again, as I spoke about, you know, all these uh, coins that I put buy stop orders on, look, if they go down further, then so be it, they go down further. I'm gonna hold for the long term anyway, and I believe in these projects. That doesn't mean they're infallible and can't fail. Uh, I believe in Synthetics Network, I believe in Aave, I believe in Chainlink, you know, Compound Finance looks good. I need to do some more research. They've been around for a while. Uniswap sounds really, really good. I've never actually used it myself, but I do uh, want to get uh, into that at some stage. There was just, by the time Uniswap was really going off its head, I was too late to the party and I didn't want to jump in and get burnt and scammed by all the scam coins and things on there. So I didn't, I stayed away from it. But I still think Uniswap has a future uh, and I like what it's all about. Uh, and I'll definitely, you know, have some coins uh, if it gets down to that price target that uh, I put. Anyway, that's it from me. Again, I think DeFi, you know, if you're not into it yet but have been thinking about it but were put off by the, the prices, now would be a good time to just at least have a look at it. I'm not saying buy anything and, you know, because you could possibly lose. There is chances, you know, these don't make it. I could be wrong, but for me... Uh, I just see this as a great buying opportunity. But again, I think they're going to roll over and go a little bit lower before they start to pump up. And there's no guarantee that the prices I've put in the buy orders are the bottom. I seriously doubt they will be the bottom. We might already be at the bottom of this kind of thing before we get another leg up. Or they could go lower. Time will tell. All right, well, that's it from me. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Hopefully you're on that gain train. There's definitely a few gains in there to be made. And I'll see you next time.